Hey everyone, Ali here from Solid Straight. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to drop perfect support levels to get in at the best price possible. And it's coming from yesterday's trade on AXSM, where I sent a screenshot right here in my chat room, right here. And I sent a screenshot of AXSM and draw drew really the support line right here. And then there's a trend. It was forming this triangle pattern, basically expecting it to come down and then bounce. And it actually exactly that's what happened. It happened before I, and I alerted it before it even made the move. And just to show basically exactly what happened right here. So there it is. I'm going to again draw. So right here, it bounced. There's this level and it came down right here. So it, I sent it right here. And it came down and I held so this to give you right above the support level and it bounced. And later on during the day, it actually came down again the exact support level and then bounced again and now it's still going up. So I'm going to be talking about why this level and how to draw this, why this stock particularly, how to enter and how to exit. Okay, so that way you can be consistently profitable. So if you like this content, let me know in the comment below so I can continue to make these videos. And before further ado, let's get started to the setup. All right, so let's clean this chart first. And notice here I have right now three different time frames. I'm gonna hide this five minute because it's not really relevant at the moment and just to make it bigger. So notice here the number one reason first is that AXSM had a news and because of that the stock had a pre-market gap up. So notice here, this is the pre-market right here. And that is why in the first, because it has to be in your watch before you even start. So notice here, this was gapping up in the pre-market. So it would pop up in any of your pre-market uh, watch list. I also send watch lists every single day in my chat room. So you can just join in and it's free. Everything is free there. So I just, every time I make my watch list before market, I send a list of all the stocks that are gapping up or they could be in play for that day. That being said, no, the reason why because it was gapping up was because gapping up was above this level. So notice here. Uh, let me just draw this. So notice here, it was gapping up, and it was going to this no man's land. There was like not really share side. There were share traders before, like a, a year ago, but recently none of there were no share traders. So basically, nobody was holding the stock as a bag, right? So that means that there are going to be few sellers when the stock breaks above this level. Once it goes above this, there's going to be few sellers. So there's going to be more buyers. That's why the stock is likely to go up than they'll go down. So that's why it's in the watch number one. Okay. So that being said, now how the stock behaves during the intraday, which is means the same day, like the one the stock opens, then you can react and create your support lines and draw trend lines where is possible. So the number one trade what actually happened right here. Notice here there was a nice trend and then there could be a good entry right here and the stock went up. I missed it. But once I missed it, you don't chase the stock. I personally don't scalp. I wait and I am a traditional trader. So I personally wait. I don't scalp like here in a few cents, 10 cents because I think risk management is really tough to handle in that scenario. But Let's just drill down further. And what happens is that once the stock breaks out now, so this is the support, which is the high of the day. So notice here, this is the high of the day. And this is where the stock broke out and went up quickly. That means there's a real lots of buying zone. This is a buying zone right here. A lot of traders got in and notice here, these two green can, uh, volume candles as well. Here, notice here, low. And then as soon as it breaks right here, you see this volume increased that means this place is the demand zone and also this is the high of the day so this if this this was resistance so the same resistance becomes support so this is the number one rule of support resistance right so knowing that i have now once i see that now as long as i don't see like big red candles like you know flush like this like this here okay it means that the slowly there's slowly profit taking happening there's not like, oh, people selling panic selling. It's a profit taking when it slow starts come down slowly, slowly. And then once it's coming down slowly, it's forming this pattern in the same time if you draw a trend, right? <clears throat> if it's drawing a pattern, at the same time, there's a support, very strong support. It forms a triangle pattern right here like this. So let me repeat. If there is a really strong support level, 
or the break of resistance which is right here at the same time stock is coming down slowly 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 but then at the same time 15 moving average is also catching up so it's coming down to the moving average which is also act as a support it's also coming down to this support level as well and then it's also making this trend but at the same time it's also at the no man's land right here it has broken up above very key to support or resistance level so there are lots of traders watching because it's a good news because pre-market um, it was gapped up in pre-market so there's so many things going on aligning at the same time the more things aligned at the same time the better the stock is a can better good candidate it is for you to trade that being said let's talk about creating a perfect support level so notice here this was the area about 5148 and it gave you options twice once it came right here and then actually did not come exactly here i actually had orders sitting right here and i never got a fill and it went so there are two ways to play this let's talk about how to play this so now you have the support level how to play it. i actually had either you put as your limit orders right here and then your stop loss will be the next pivot level which is this support level so that will be your stop loss i will actually even wait and see how it reacts at the support level you know it's bouncing or it's like breaking and going down if it's breaking it's breaking you know then you can get out too but i give it a little bit of room right here because i know i'm going to take bigger profits as well so it depends how you're trading but i give myself a little room right here so that's number one way to trade is by put your limit orders at support level what I do is like this. All I do is I already have my bracket order set up. So what I do is I simply check here. This is my support and I just look at it here. Okay, so it's about 250 cents per share. So I already have my bracket orders created. I just hit 250 and it automatically puts orders right here and automatically puts my sell orders right here. If it would have worked, I would have made about three, four hundred dollars on this and I would have lost 200. Um, now notice here, it actually did not come, <laughs> no, it did not come here, but it did come right here. You see, I would have got literally filled at the bottom and the stock would have gone up. So that's number one way to trade. Okay. I actually had my order sitting, like actually had multiple orders sitting like this, um, uh, multiple orders sitting like this. I had multiple orders sitting like this, but it did not, it's barely missed it. So let's say that you miss it. So what are the other ways to trade? So the other way would be the 15 minute candle to make a new high. So right here. Notice here on the 15 minute candle, this is the level. So 15 minute, I've made a video. I'll put a link down below on the 15 minute candle to make a new had a complete strategy on this. But basically the, in the, the overall summary is the first candle after it makes a 15 minute new breaks, the low of high of the 15 minutes. So notice here, this is the 15 minute right here. It broke that this candle broke, which is this exact same level on the one minute chart. And as soon as it breaks, that's when the whole squeeze happens which at the same time, it's a trend break as well. So notice here, there's a trend break. So I actually missed this one. So once it broke out right here, I enter right here with my stop right here. So this is my stop and then I, the where to take profits. So I had my resistance line drawn. So what you wanna do is next resistance is right here, right? So this is the next resistance. So look where they come down to right here. So if you enter right here, your stop is here. This is your risk or your reward. So you would you take profits and then hold the final piece and see how it goes. I actually held some piece, but actually did not go. And it came down and I got stopped out right here at this candle, the low of this candle, I got stopped out instead of adding my position. But I wasn't watching, I just took profit. I had my day and walked away and it literally came down and it actually, I got stopped out on the final piece. But here it is, I hope you learned something new on this and how to draw support lines, how to draw trend lines and the way to enter will take profits hope you guys learned something i'll talk to you guys later take care bye